Hey everybody, it's me, Lindsay. Happy Thursday. Welcome to Soar From Home. I hope everybody got the chance to watch the Macarena video from yesterday and to boogie down a little bit with me. I had lots of fun making that video, so hopefully you enjoyed it. Today we are switching gears and doing something totally different. So today we're gonna do kind of an interactive video. So I am going to be doing a scavenger hunt with you guys today. And I'm gonna give you 10 things to do in a scavenger hunt. It's all gonna be things that you could find in your house. If you can't find all 10 things, no worries. You can always substitute a new thing into our scavenger hunt, but just 10 things I thought of that would be fun for you to find in your house. And what I want you guys to do is once you found your things, uh, I want you to take a picture and I want you to email it to me. If you're part of Project SOAR, you'll have my email. So send me a picture uh, then I can share it on Facebook or on Instagram or, you know, leave me comments and all that kind of thing. So to get started, I will go through the list of the scavenger hunt items. I will show you what I found because I ran around my house to finding all these things. What's fun about it is that if you have multiple people in your house, you'll have multiple different things and each thing kind of tells its own story is what I was kind of finding. So it's kind of fun. So the first thing on the scavenger hunt is a pen. So I went and I found a pen in my house and it's this pen. So it's a blue pen. Now you would think that a pen doesn't have a story, but I like colorful pens and I especially like, uh, they're called felt tip pens. They're just my favorite kind of pen to write with, especially at work. So that is kind of just my simple story about my pen. So number one, find a pen. And you can pause at any time because you can pause, go find the first item and then come back. Or you can go through the whole video, write down all the items and then go find all the items at once, however you wanna play. So number two's item is gonna be a marker. Now there's all sorts of different kinds of marker, right? There's permanent marker, there's dry erase markers, there's regular washable markers. I went and found a regular washable marker my marker is pink because pink is my favorite color. So that is why that's my story with my pink marker. So still, I managed to find a story with my marker choice. So, all right, number three is a stuffed animal. Now I almost had to choose my dog stuffed animal, even though I have a seven year old and he has a million stuffed animals in his room. I wasn't being able to find any, but I did find one and I found one of my favorites. So I'm going to show you and you guys probably already know who this is, but if you don't, it's Dory from Finding Nemo and Finding Dory. So this specific Dory, specific Dory is from Finding Dory because she has her tag on her. So um, if you don't know this about me, I love Disney. Love, love, love Disney. I'm always there. I grew up in California. So this is Dory. So that's my stuffed animal. That's our number three. Now, number four on our scavenger hunt is gonna be a box of cereal. Now, this is not my personal box of cereal. I have to eat gluten-free, so, but this is just kind of a fun box of cereal because this is the box of cereal I got for my son to eat for St. Patrick's Day for fun. So it's the Lucky Charms St. Patrick's Day fun version of Lucky Charms. So I got a box of cereal for my scavenger hunt. Now the next one on our list, our number five. So we're halfway through our scavenger hunt because we're gonna have 10 items. Our number five is a book. It could be any kind of book, right? There's picture books, there's books that are facts like scientific books, chapter books, <clears throat> self-help books, cooking books. So many different kinds of books, right? A journal. I went and I got this book. It's called Girl, Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis. Um, I was introduced to Rachel Hollis this year actually at work. We're kind of um, following some of the things that she says. She's really incredible. And she has a lot of good like self-help uh, techniques and things to help you kind of uh, refocus yourself. So that was awesome. So this is my book choice that I grabbed for the scavenger hunt. That's my number five. So now we're gonna be on number six. Okay, and number six is a game. Now games are important right now, right? We're at home, we're soaring from home together. 
So games are fun. Games we can play together, right? Different games. I went and got Operation. We just got Operation for Christmas this year. So we have been playing it as a family. Um, lots of fun. I don't think the game likes me very much. It keeps buzzing every time I try to get something out, but I'm gonna get better at it. So that's my game I grabbed. Can't wait to see what games you guys grab, what games you like to play. All right, now uh, the seventh item, had to figure out where I was at, seven, is a hat. So lots of different hats. There's snow hats, there's sun hats, there's baseball hats. I got one of my favorite hats. All right, it, I like wearing baseball hats. And this is a hat and it's from Sequoia National Park. When I was growing up, Sequoia National Park is in uh, California. It's by Kings Canyon National Park and just south of Yosemite National Park. And uh, that is where the largest trees uh, on earth live. Um, they're great redwoods and they are amazing if you ever see it, but we always go camping there, my family, every year since I was little. So I love this hat because it reminds me of home. So everyone, number seven is find a hat. All right. All right, number eight. All right, now this is gonna be unique to you. So you're gonna have to use your head and think kind of something what you want. So I want you to find something that shows me something about yourself. So it could be like my favorite sports team is the twins. So I'm gonna show like a twins jersey or something like that or t-shirt or something. Or it could be, I love unicorns. So here's like a unicorn plaque at my house. I love bears and I collect little black bear figurines and I display them in my house. So this is one of my little black bear figurines that I have. I have a bunch of shelves in my house that I display them on. So I went and bought that. Um, I've always loved bears. I just think they're adorable. I've pet some baby bears before um, and fed them. So that kind of sums up that. Now we're on to number nine, only two more items left. I want you to get a spoon. It could be any kind of spoon. It could be a cooking spoon, <clears throat> an eating spoon. Um, so I went and grabbed a cooking spoon. Uh, I believe the story behind this one, I think my mom gave it to me in a set for Christmas three years ago. So, um, just one of my cooking spoons. I like to cook and bake. So just grabbed it from my kitchen. All right. And number 10, because today, if you're in Minnesota with me, it's nice and rainy and it's just a great day to do this. I want everyone to find a blanket Cut is, it is the perfect day to cuddle up with the blanket and maybe <clears throat> grab that book that we went and found and read the book. So that's 10 items on our scavenger hunt list. I'm gonna go over them one more time. A pen, a marker, a stuffed animal, a box of cereal, a book, a game, a hat, something that shows something you like, a spoon and a blanket, okay? So 10 items. And I want you to send me a picture via email, Facebook, or Instagram. And I will link all of those below, except for my email. Those will be just for our Project SOAR members that get the emails from me. Um, but send me a picture, I'll shout you out. I'll post on social media. I wanna see, I wanna see what you guys are doing. I miss you. Um, another thing I want you guys to send me is jokes because I wanna do a joke day where I can um, share your guys' jokes and do kind of like a funny bit day. So I wanna do that on Monday next week. So if you guys can send me as many jokes as possible, um, email me, post them on Facebook, comment below this video um, or Instagram comment. Let me know. I want to definitely get a whole bunch so I can do a whole video on them and I'll share out. If you want me to say this is who sent it, let me know. If you don't want me to say who sent it, totally fine too. Let me let me know that as well. All right. Have a good Thursday. Have fun uh, with your scavenger hunt. Do it yourself or do it with others. Just have fun. Bye.